Hello, hello. I'm here with Monty. So I thought I'd introduce you all to my family member, Monty. Um, we're just going, oh shit. We're just going for a ride on my dad's electric bike at the moment. And I've actually never used an electric bike in my life. So I'm just trying to figure it out whilst trying to film. Um, let's see how I go. So yeah, I just thought I would film and introduce you to Monty. Monty, say hi. And let me just fix that. Um, so just a bit of a background. Monty is 11 years old. Well, almost 11 in August, I should say. And he's been in my family for over 10 years now. So my family actually bought Mon Monty from a backyard breeder. And obviously as a vegan, I see that as immoral and I do not support breeding animals into existence for our own pleasure. Um, but anyway, that's just in the past. We didn't know any better and now we do. And um, I highly recommend watching Dominion on YouTube, which actually exposes the breeding industry in Australia. Um, and this represents the industry worldwide. Sorry guys, I'm finding it really difficult to speak when I'm trying to learn how to ride an electric bike on a bloody track um, with one hand and with Monty in the back. <laughs> but I'm going all right so far. Um, it's actually quite beautiful here, by the way, as you can see. Um, where was I? So yeah, I definitely recommend adopting companion animals. There are so many animals in shelters that are in desperate need of a home and they're actually murdered if they aren't given a home in a certain period of time. It's absolutely awful. We're talking tens of thousands, if not millions of dogs and cats in these shelters who'd been abandoned by their families and um, they're destined for murder. Oh shit, <laughs> fuck, oh, that was really bumpy, really, really bumpy. Um, yeah, so absolutely awful. Anyway, back to Monty, he's a Jack Russell. Um, he has been eating a plant-based diet, no animal products at all for, I'd say at least three years now, if not longer. Um, I definitely was able to convince my family to feed him plant-based foods instead of murdering animals for his survival because dogs can thrive and survive on a plant-based diet. There's plenty of scientific evidence to show that. All right, we're back on. Um, there was just a massive ditch in the track <laughs> and I almost fell off the bike, but that's okay because we're back on. We're just going up and down on the same track. Anyway, I was talking about how dogs can thrive and survive on a plant-based diet. As you can see, for an 11-year-old dog, Monty looks incredibly healthy. He goes to the beach pretty much every day and he's very active when he's at the beach, obviously like running in the sand, but um, he also does a significant amount of swimming. I am serious, like he just, does not stop swimming. He likes to chase after people when they're going for their swim. So he spends like the entire time just swimming in the water after people. Uh, Monty can actually also surf. He loves surfboards. I've been surfing with him lots of times, like catching a wave with him and even just pushing him onto waves by himself. It's actually pretty amazing. Um, and I've definitely noticed lots of health benefits since Monty switched to eating a plant-based diet. By the way, there's lots of um, vegan dog kibble that you can get. V-Dog is a good one. It's probably the most popular one. Um, I buy BioPet vegan dog kibble for Monty. And yeah, he really likes that. And he eats lots of 
pasta and legumes and fruit sometimes, veggies, lots of different whole foods. Um, his all-time favourites in terms of treats is dehydrated sweet potato um, cut up into little pieces. He just can't get enough of the dehydrated sweet potato. Um, and he also likes peanut butter too. Uh, so yeah, dogs are omnivorous animals and they can thrive uh, even healthier on a plant-based diet. And as I said, there's plenty of evidence to show that. You can actually go to, I think it's vdog.com and they have links to all the scientific evidence to show that dogs are perfectly healthy on a plant-based diet and if not healthier, uh, if you think about it, eating the bodies of diseased animals in murder factories is not healthy at all. Um, we're talking about 99% of animal products come from factory farm conditions where disease is rampant. So feeding your dog murdered animal body parts and secretions is incredibly unhealthy and obviously incredibly cruel and completely unnecessary. So it's immoral to be doing that. Um, <laughs> Monty's just loving the ride. He's already been to the beach today, so he's just enjoying chilling for a little bit. Um, yes. Wow, let's go off road, Monty. Holy shit. We're doing it, we're doing it. Whee! Fuck yeah, this is sick. All right, back for another lap. Um, what else is there to talk about, Monty? What do you have to say? Nothing? Um, what else can I tell you about Monty? Yeah, well, I guess I've kind of covered everything. Um, he's just a very active and healthy dog. Um, he is full of character. He's just, people just absolutely adore him. Um, I think with a lot of Jack Russells, they just have that character about them that just is just so um, beautiful. I mean, it just goes to show that no matter what species, everyone is an individual and we all have our personalities. I'm sure most of you have connected with dogs or cats and maybe have a companion animal yourself. And at the end of the day, Fuck it, I need to fix this camera, just a sec. All right, hopefully that's better. By the way, this thing is fucking heavy. I've got my microphone equipment on it, so it's just, this GoPro, it's pretty fucking heavy. Anyway, back to what I was saying. So yeah, there's no moral difference between a dog, a pig, cat, dolphin, whale, uh, chicken, fish, uh, humans we're all the same in the ways that matter we all are individuals with our own personalities our own wants and needs we all want to live we don't want to be harmed we don't want to be enslaved tortured abused and murdered which is what happens in the meat dairy and egg industries and every industry that's using animals whether that be wool leather honey silk fur feathers scales animal entertainment and racing industries, all of these animals are subjected to horrific violence and, you know, how, how could we never ever fathom harming our companion animals, but we're happy to pay people to slit the throats of non-human animals? It's just insane. Um, but again, it's just that disconnect of what's actually happening in these industries and that's why it's so important for you all to see Dominion on YouTube and see what's happening. If you don't feel like watching the full documentary, watch as much as you can. Um, otherwise, you can also go to don'twatch.org, which gives a 10 minute overview of what is happening um, in the meat, dairy and egg industries as well. So, yeah, holy shit. I'm getting puffed. I'm getting puffed on an electric bike. <laughs> it's kind of hard, like, holding this weight and learning how to ride an electric bike on the gravel, okay? 
um, but yeah, I'm going fine. <laughs> Woo! Anyway, that's it from Monty and I. Do you have anything else to say, Mont? Hey? Nope, that's it. If you enjoyed this little video that we did, please let me know and I'll do more little random videos like this. Um, let me know what you think in the comments about plant-based dogs. I'll put a link to the V-Dog website where you can find out the scientific literature that shows dogs can be completely healthy and there's no need to be murdering someone else to feed your dog. And even cats, there's actually synthetic taurine, um, so cats don't even have to be eating the murdered bodies of animals anymore. So absolutely no need, um, but yeah. Anyway, see you in the next video. Want to say bye? No, he doesn't want to say bye. See ya.